Hey you guys, it's Nick from Retro Games HQ, and today I am doing another episode of Pokemon Red Randomizer. So let's get into a battle. Straight it off. I don't often come here, but I will fight you. I'm not the one just sitting around in a cape, cosplaying as Brock. Okay, Rhyhorn. I think you watch my first one out, right? Okay, easy to deal with. Also, if you're already here, you probably watched previous videos, so go ahead and subscribe if you haven't already. I would greatly appreciate that. Also, if you're looking to buy a game, specifically Pokemon Red, then make sure you go to Humble Bundle at nicksonar.com forward slash Humble Bundle. You'll buy the game. You'll, you know, you'll be able to buy the game. You'll be helping charity, and you'll be helping this channel as well. You can see the link in the description below, and you can learn more about Humble Bundle, which helps charities also uh in the description so wall rain let's see switch to Grovile. of course i guess i could have done current ape as well and then just do mock punch okay absorb oh get the uh, cursor out of the way crit okay mm -hmm. body slam day oh come on that's not gonna be enough Level up? No. Dang it. How much money? Give me some money. Money, 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 money. 2178. Now I wonder how much money I have. 54,000. Man, I love, love, love this. Okay, I'm going to go to the left this time. I'm trying to remember what was here. I'm going to say there's an item here. I might be wrong. Nope. Okay. Just a dead end. What's funny is that these Pokemon Red, of course, Pokemon Blue, Pokemon Yellow, um, what's funny is, well, let me pick Politoed, these have more complexity to them than the Pokemon Shield and Sword Caves. These Pokemon, I mean, I'm not Pokemon, these Game Boy, this is not a Game Boy Color game. Pokemon Yellow is, but these Game Boy games, their caves have more complexity than a freaking Nintendo Switch main, like, Pokemon game. That's how crap Pokemon Shield and Sword are. You can't feed me crap sandwiches and be like, no, it's a cherry. Don't you like it? It's crap. And I'll say that forever. They put out an incomplete game that sucked as it was. It was more than just it needed more content. They didn't even develop out the areas well enough. How about that one town that was just a Pokemon Center and you just walking? Where all these buildings you couldn't even go into. Whether they... It didn't matter what they were, you couldn't go into them. Hypnosis. And then you finally get DLC. And it's an open area. You know, like what people wanted to begin with. And then it's still not impressive. And they're like, oh, we can't fit any more Pokemon in here. We don't have the space. Well, they're not pushing. They're not even trying to push the freaking Pokemon Switch card to, uh, you know, cartridge to its, like, fullest capacity. They're not even trying to push it like they did with the Game Boy and Game Boy Color cartridges with Pokemon Red, Blue, and Yellow, including Pokemon Gold and Silver and Crystal. These people are crap when it comes to developing games. That was a cash grab there was nothing else to it it was beyond poor you should hang your head in shame if you worked on that game and knowingly worked on it while it was like oh yeah it's gonna be an incomplete thing like you'd have no pride in your work some of the soundtrack was good but the best one honestly was freaking toby and that was a crap post from the baby is you The characters, okay, better than some. The first non-antagonistic rival that I actually liked. The rest that weren't antagonistic were bullcrap. This whole, we're all friends, let's just hold hands and get along. Was it Black 2, I think, where it's like, 
Man, someone stole my lap leopard. I'm mad. I hate you too. I think. I'm trying to remember, he was a bit serious. He was okay. Things black two, not black one. Well, black white two and black white one. Okay, mock punch. Yeah, Pokemon Shield, Pokemon Sword are laughable. People will point to the record sales. Well, that's what happens when you finally get a con a main Pokemon game on the console, number one. Number two, it's a stupidly popular Nintendo console. Number three, you had a phenomenon called Pokemon Go happen. And you get guess what you did? You got new people to play Pokemon, and then you made a two games specifically pokemon let's go pikachu pokemon let's go eevee to tie those people from people from pokemon go over to the nintendo switch and other pokemon games you had all that and yes you're gonna have record sales pointing at the numbers is irrelevant what we're saying is counterfactual rather it didn't happen rather if they would have made an actual game their numbers would be higher the reviews would be better It'd be a better game. I freaking learned from Pokemon Yellow how to read. Well, you know, full freaking four-year-old, five-year-old. I had a speech impediment. It may have been evolution or some bull crap like that. I, I couldn't pronounce V's and I had L's screwed up and I had my R's messed up and I had my T's messed up and my S's. I had so many things messed up when I was little. But guess what? I knew what freaking evolution was. I know what fainting. I knew what fainting was. I literally can't remember life without Pokemon. And what do they do? It's the biggest disappointment. It's a cash grab now. It's disgusting. Just because you enjoy it doesn't mean it's the best they could do. It doesn't mean it isn't bad, comparatively, at the very least. Oh, dang. Very. When your world, except for the open world, is hallways. With minimal buildings. Which is hallways. Straight hallways. Sometimes it's like, oh, well, it jets off right here. Yeah. For what? Like, in the game, 10 feet? Just so you can go get something? And then come right back? There was no even trick, like, oh man, this cave, I accidentally went down this way, it wasn't the right way, my god, I gotta backtrack, dang it, here's a Pokemon, you know, no, it was, okay, this is the way, oh, there's something down there, okay, I get it, get back, okay, keep walking this exact straight path, uh-huh, okay, and I'm out of the cave, yeah, it wasn't just that, it was other places as well that was having these issues, it was a joke, I like the idea of having different gym leaders. You know, it's like different times. People are switching in and out. They're not concrete. I would have liked better if they would have put them all in one game, but that would, we all know that'd be too much content for that game for them to have done that. Not to mention, like, a post-game stuff until the DLC, which was an open-world thing. What people wanted to begin with. An open-world place that they had was like, oh, man, this is actually freaking cool. And then it was like, Hmm. And you couldn't even switch. You couldn't stop giving your Pokemon EXP. Stop. You're bullcrap. But you're appealing to normies too much. The normies will come because of the, the circumstances anyways. Give them the chance to have experience on stuff. But don't make it so it's easier for everybody. And you can't change that. You know, during that game, because I was leveling up so much, I had two different parties. The whole game. As soon as I got six and I realized I was going way too high, I just started catching our Pokemon that I wanted. I literally had two parties. Separate, 12 Pokemon. And they were still over-leveled. That is a problem.
You know, there's no concept of getting good except for like super, 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 super competitive uh, gameplay online. And but remember, they they can't fit in everything. You know, that'd be too difficult. You know, they had to remake the models. I guess we just completely forgot the fact that they didn't remake the models, and there's an actual proof where they they just really didn't. And here's the thing. So what if they had to remake the models? So be it. It's Pokemon. Gotta catch them all. You know. Of course, people are, oh, that's not how it is in the uh, original Japanese motto. Yeah, it's like, what is it? Ghetto. Not ghetto, does it? It's like ghetto. It's pretty much catch. Like, the essence of it is, let's go catch them all. And guess what? Don't act like that suddenly because you are wanting to kiss some butt and lick some boots. You know, the Pokemon Corporation boots. Don't be like, hey, you know, um, so, uh, well, first off, uh, gotta catch them all isn't the, uh, Japanese, uh, saying, uh, the motto. Uh, it, it, it does say that, you know, oh, yeah, the essence of it is to catch them, but it doesn't mean catch them all, you know, completely. Don't tell me. I have lived and breathed Pokemon for years. Pokemon. Pokemon Stadium, Stadium 2, Coliseum, XD, you know? And then even that crappy Pokemon, the supposed successor to Stadium and Coliseum, but actually sucked real bad for the Wii. Oh, what was the name of it? You know? Pokemon Mystery Dungeon. All the Pokemon Ranger stuff. I will have got Pokemon Conquest if it wasn't for a money issue. Now, I'm definitely money issue. It's, it's freaking expensive. Huh. <sighs> well, my pillows. When I was a kid. Freaking a Pokemon pillow. I got so much stuff. So many Pokemon cards. I played Pokemon cards. The TCG for so long. Went to Nationals. I mean... I know Pokemon. I still have Pokemon stuff in my freaking room. A good bit of it. I love Heart Gold Soul Silver. It's. Don't tell me. Look, I've seen people say it's not. Un it's unimportant if you can catch them all. That has been the whole point of Pokemon since the beginning. To battle them, to catch them all, to raise them, to become the best there ever freaking was. Now you're telling me that, no, it's just kind of, you know, oh, yeah, go catch them, but not all of them. You're ignoring the whole context. I don't want to talk to you. I want to mock you. That's what I want to do. That's what it's deserved. Because the context is quite evident to anybody looking in. And if you say, no, it isn't, well, cool, they're an idiot. And anyone that has been involved in Pokemon, you know for a fact. Unless you just change your opinion. Like, okay, imagine this. Imagine a world where before Pokemon Shield, Pokemon Sword came out, Someone was like, well, Pokemon's about catching Pokemon, but it's not about catching them all. You know, well, look at the Japanese saying. Well, people be like, are you dumb? Of course it's about catching them all. You know, like, look at the con the context of it. You know, the years, like, the, the anime, the manga, it's like everything. It's like, oh, oh, uh, let's see. We have a Pokedex. Let's go fill it up. That's the whole purpose. Just to fill your Pokedex. Are you serious? Probably did. Why not? And so, well, they couldn't. Oh, bull crap. Freaking. You know what's more, like, difficult? Making Pokemon red, blue, yellow. Gold, silver, and crystal. Pushing crap to its limits. Hardware-wise. That's what was difficult. Guess what, though? They freaking did it. This AAA crap. You tell me that they couldn't do that crap? 
They couldn't put in every single Pokemon. Of course, we all know at, at this point also that the, it's complete bullcrap uh, that they had to remake all the models. Uh, people have analyzed that. It's Of course, people have been like, no, they had to remake them. And there's great videos taking them down. It's all bullcrap. And even if it is, guess what? It's Pokemon. You better make it. You know what? You know what's that? You know what that's called? Priorities. Listen, I am fine with DLC. I'm fine with microtransactions. I'm fine. You know? Now, pay to win stuff I don't like. Unless it's like, you know, um, Yu Gi Oh! Uh, uh, Duel Links. Or something like that, where it's like, okay, you buy the packs and get them and blah, blah, blah. Okay. Or, you know, accessories or, hey, here's a microtransaction for stuff that you can get later on. You can earn it or you can go ahead and just buy it. I'm fine with those. Uh, it's about economics, about funding your stuff. Okay. But the point of a game is a full game. Don't sell me a $60 game that's not a freaking $60 game. Don't sell me DLC to complete that game when it's still incomplete after the DLC. And guess what? The next DLC will come out, and it's still going to be an incomplete game. It's Pokemon. You gotta catch them all. And I don't give a crap what the Japanese saying is. The essence is essentially the same. It has been that. It's not just people haven't been like gotten this idea just from the freaking motto. It's that the motto has reflected what the reality has been. So you apologists that want to act like nothing drawn Pokemon Sword and Shield. That hey, what are you talking about, guys? You know, you know, or you want to complain about people complaining about it, okay? You need to shut up. You don't know what you're talking about. I'm fine with having a conversation. The problem is we've had this conversation for multiple years. Well, I guess was it was it two years at this point? Is it two years two years at this point? Somewhere around there, right? It's not been a year. Has it been a year now? Either way, we've been having this conversation even before Pokemon Sword and Shield came out. And, okay, let me. <sighs> Tons of discussions been had about it. What you all remind me of, what you ones remind me of, is the people that scream Gen 1ers. There are extremely few what you would call Gen 1ers that truly are, like, you know, they hate maybe even Gen 2 or Gen 3 or Gen 4 because it ain't the OG stuff, you know. Uh, it's just, well, it, that's purely the reason why. I understand if, like, you don't like the designs, you don't like the feeling of it, that's okay. I understand it definitely changed. The Pokemon definitely changed feelings over the years. Like the mood, the setting, stuff like that. Yes. Definitely. Um... But, to, you know, the fundamental feeling of Pokemon was still been there. There's been some big changes, you know, um, friendly rivals, stuff like that. This is the first friendly rival that's fine. Hop's actually fine. Felt bad when I was like, I don't want to beat Hop. I want to let him, to face his brother, to let him beat him where I can beat him. Like, and then, you know, the dude comes in and realizes, oh, I'm not the protagonist. <laughs> That's fine, okay? But the sword, shield, plot, horrible. Um, it it could have been better. I like Mernia, like Beta, or whatever you say his name. Sonya, good. Oh, darn it. Don't kill me, man. Don't do that. Thank you. But you act like those people that are complaining about Gen 1ers. There's a small, 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 small percentage that are actually irrational. Or, you know, actually just like, you know, and ultimately it does come down to preference. But sometimes, you know, with preference, you can still give some reasons why. And it's like, okay, you just, ha you want to hate it because you want to hate it. No, I wanted to love Pokemon Sword and Shield. This is nothing short of a miracle, like, how could I, you know, I've been wanting a console Pokemon game that I can enjoy. I mean, Pokemon Let's Go is fine, but since Pokemon XD, I grew up on, I said, Stadium, Stadium 2, Coliseum, XD. I always wanted Hey You Pikachu. <laughs> and here comes one. 
And when I first heard about it, my expectations were set high. Can't lie. As I heard more about it, my expectations went lower and lower and lower. And when it came out, I purposefully set my expectations very, 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 very low. Somehow, I was still extremely disappointed. I think the people that wanted to love it, because, I mean, sometimes you just want to love something, whether you have a reason for it or not. I think there's a lot of people like that. I think there's a lot of people that don't know what they're talking about and need to keep their mouths closed. Um, if you're a newcomer to Pokemon, don't talk. I'll be honest, unless you've, you know, went back through and been like, oh man, these games are really good, or, you know, I don't like these games, but I'll give you reasons why. Unless you went back, you know, been like, okay, here's why. Um, it's not good. You actually give me a reason? Okay, cool. But these same people praising Pokemon Shield and Sword will go back and be like, well, the older games don't rank up to what they, what people claim. I've never went back to an old game. And really doesn't matter which one. If I liked it as a kid, I still liked it. But I didn't have the feeling of how I played it as a kid. And Pokemon. I definitely have a different... It had a, you know, Pokemon Yellow. Different feeling when I was a kid. That's for sure. But I've played it multiple times over the years. And it's not like rose tinted glasses. You just look at it. It's still a good game. I mean... For its time, a fantastic game. A literal phenomenal game. But even today, it's not a bad game. There's a lot of indie games that are extremely inferior to them. That's a Pokemon Yellow, Red, and Blue. You know? And... I've never had the problem a lot of people have where they visit old games and they're like, Man... This game didn't crack, you know, isn't cracked up to what I used to believe. Never had that issue. I've been pretty critical when it comes to thinking on, when I go back to games, I've always thought, okay, you know, it's not going to be like the new games. Duh. So I never set my expectations that high. You know, like, Nirvana kind of high. irritating that when they put out the first Pokemon games they did so much better of a job with them than what is it 23, 24, 20 something years, 22 I think 22, years later and we have you know went far beyond what we probably could have thought of 22 years ago. And they are outdone by their first games, their second games, their third games, their side games. How? I don't know. But that's it for this video. Make sure you subscribe. I'm going to be making more Pokemon Red uh, randomizer episodes. That's for sure. Hopefully this time, next time it won't be pretty much a huge rant or nothing. Also, again, if you want Pokemon Red or any game, just go to Humble Bundle at nixonr.com forward slash Pokemon Red. I would greatly appreciate it, and you get to help charity as well. So, that's it for this video. Retro on.